In NX12, users can now display multiple NX part files. They can be assembly, components, drawings, or any NX window display part file. We have open assembly drawing. In the past, when users select a master model assembly by using MB3, they can make it as a display part. Now the option is open in window. A new tab would appear and users can move it option to the top, right, left, or bottom and temporary display color box will show where it will be placed. Depending on where the cursor is located, users can pan or zoom accordingly by using their dynamic rotation device. And when double click on the empty space, NX will auto fit the display. Let's quickly review the function and the workflow of the 3D box selection. After selecting a trigger and activate the 3D box selection, By dragging the handles in different directions, we see several components are now appearing. Users can quickly inverse select the undesired parts and only focus on the 3D box components as shown before. Now we see that these are the results of what we're after. We can undo the workflow and try another. Isolate a new window. In this case, we want to review the trigger distance to the back of the grip, where 70 millimeters more desirable. We will select and isolate the trigger and few other components to a new window and we'll place it to the right of the assembly display window. When new isolated window displays um, appears, the work part is still at the assembly level, so we need to change it to the trigger part. In reviewing the drawing dimension, users can use synchronous modeling to change the trigger to the desired outcome of 70 millimeter. Once that is accomplished, by updating the drawing views, we see that the desired outcome of the 70 millimeters dimension is achieved. This concludes our demonstration of the multi-display part.